Hey friends, this is Laura with Potpourri of Life and I'm out in the greenhouse. Lots of bright sun. It's 62 on the deck, so it's a little warmer in here. I need to get a thermometer out here. <laughs> so what I'm doing today, it's been a little hectic this morning. It was like lots of busy stuff. Um, I might share a little bit more on the estate pretty soon because we think that we're coming to some closure, but I needed to get out of the house for two reasons. I need to get my gardening stuff done. So what I am going to do is I'm going to start growing a few things or at least potting them and see how they go. One of the things that I am definitely going to grow are some Brussels sprouts and I've never seen these before, but asparagus bean. I don't know how they go will go, but um, it says it takes 15 to 21 days to germinate. So that's what I'm going to work with a couple of weeks and it'll be going good. Isn't so that's what I'm going to do. It says you should start planting late May to July. Being in the greenhouse and as warm as it is, I'm going to just go with this because I want to see what these are like. Please ignore the noise outside because they're working on the lines. It seems like this summer is the summer that they're going to be working outside quite a bit. So my apologies. So what I wanted to show you first. Ugh. This is some of the soil that I got from my compost. So what do I use for compost? What do I do to put in? Everybody has their own method. And what we have done for years, and I'm not an ex, you know, I'm not the perfect gardener, but it's worked well for us. If I see worms and stuff, I might throw them in there, but generally I don't have to do that because our compost bin has always had worms. And when we first started doing it, we were told, oh, you got to put worms in it. And it's like, there's worms down there. And truth be told, that first year we started our compost, there were plenty, plenty of worms. So what I do is I throw cardboard in there. I throw... <laughs> throw bills in there when I I keep bills for like about a year it used to be seven years you know for tax and it's like we can go online and get anything we want really nowadays so it's just stuff that it's like ah, I just want I need some more brown matter in there I will rip up some bills and throw it out there most especially if it's stuff that is confidential type thing so I rip it up really small good exercise with the hands and I just throw it out there and I cover it with food scraps well now we don't have food scraps so we're taking what I do is I clean out the chicken run and you know a couple couple times a week because there's food that they won't consume so I'll just break it out and I will throw it into the compost side that we're not using but prior to chickens we used cardboard we used our leaves our dried leaves from the fall we put in anything that we could in terms of scraps of vegetables and fruit things that were starting to go bad that we didn't intend to but sometimes you buy too much and that's what we threw out there and it was we were always turning every year we would end up with a I think the compost bin that we're using is like about maybe five by five the size of a um, a pallet a typical pallet we made it out of pallets, so we have two sides. And so the side that we use in the current year is the one that has been sitting for a year. So I think I was out there a little while ago, but I was having trouble with the camera and computer, so maybe I didn't get that uploaded. But we have one side that right now is waiting for this year. It will go all year round, and we will kind of turn it every now and then. But what we'll do is we're going to empty out the other one, and then what we do is we flip it into the other one and then we just keep turning it, keeping that soil loose during the year. But the stuff that we take out is what we use. And seriously, I can't buy this like this. I mean, I suppose you can, but this stuff is very, very moist. You can make it into, I don't know, I just love it. And my husband wants me wearing gloves when I'm out here, but I noticed he hinted away. He brought some old gardening gloves. I don't know. I just don't like I should have some other gloves on, but I'll just go in. Some of you may have seen a video I made before. It's a garden scrub thing that I make with some sea salt and stuff. It does wonders on my hands, but we'll see. So this is what I'm going to work on first is I'm going to make grow some asparagus beans. I'm going to get them started. Really hot, so I thought I would be cool out here. 
but this is summer and this is what happened. So the other day I started these. These are cloth pots that I picked out. And I, this is um, something I'm trying. Um, I'm going to just turn this a little bit. So hopefully you can see. I can't really tell because of the sun. You know what? I'm going to put it up like this. And I'm going to start putting in the, the soil. Yeah, I think you can see me. The sun is really, really bright today. So I'm going to take this and I am going to put a little soil in each. And I love that I have this because it saves me a ton on potty mix. And I do have some potty mix. But I like the nutrients that this will provide me. And I know there's some roots and stuff in here. I'll just throw them back in or just let them decompose in these little pots. The reason I like I liked these is I thought, okay, I can just take them and just put them right into the next pot or wherever I plan on planting these in the ground or whatnot. So this is about nine of them. We're going to start with that. And what I have here, let's see, it says it has, it doesn't tell me, it has 4.2 grams. Let's see how many we get. So it produces long, slender green pods, which are sweet, tender, and perfect for snap bean use. Great for stir-fry dishes, best when pods are about 12 inches long. So these can be grown on a trellis. And you sow the seeds when the soil is warm. And th this soil is a little cool, but it's nice and warm in here. And it won't take long for these things to go. So these will make... So it says when they are a few inches tall, you start picking. So it's going to take a couple of weeks, 15 to 21 days. Let's see how many I got here. So I might fill the rest of these. But this is what they look like. Typical beans. And so I'm looking forward to these growing to see what they turn out to. So I'm just going to put one bean in each. What's nice about these type pots is that you can kind of see what you're growing. And let's see, how deep do we want these? One to one and a half inches deep. So what I'll do is I'll just cover these with some more soil. See, I can't, I'm just used to working with my hands when I work out in the garden. It drives my husband nuts. But he's not here right now. So we're going to put these in and get these started. I think I'm going to just make them all. Because, and the reason I was drawn to these particular vegetables or this particular vegetable is that we love asparagus. And it takes a from my understanding, it takes a couple of years before you can start getting asparagus. So I will probably grow some asparagus, but I, I'm not expecting that I can use them right away because it takes that long. But once they come, then I'll have them all the time every year. So I will be patient and in the interim, I'll just go to the farm stand and get my asparagus. But asparagus beans, I'd be curious, those of you who are watching, if you'd put in the comments if you've ever had asparagus beans. I'm just curious. And this is the first time I ever saw them at the store, so it was like, why not? And a little bit more in this one. Look, sounds like they've slowed down outside. Now what I'm going to do is, I don't think I'm going to end up using all of them. I'm just going to use these and it's like 2, 4, 6, 7, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So we'll see how many pots are left, how many seeds are left. I do, I like having big seeds because then you know where you planted them. So there's three there. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. I could probably do another whole set of twenty-one, 
but this is what I'm going to start out with. So I'm kind of looking forward to it. And this is what they'll look like, and I don't know if you can see that. And I just found it to be, well, that looks just really interesting. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to take some potting soil. Let's see what I've got. And yes, my husband will know that I'm using my hands after all of this. Just putting a little bit of potting soil on top of this because I have, this is just my preferred method right now because I do have the potting soil. And I'm going, I'm hoping as we move along not to have to buy potting soil in the future. And those, the other day I shared a little bit of our um, totes that are out there. We just keep adding brown matter to it after we get done, like leaves and other stuff. And we put other soil from hanging pots or whatever. Almost done here. So it looked like my camera went off and I told you it was warm out here. And so the camera told me the reason it turned off was because it got hot in here. So that's a good warning. So I just changed it so it's up. And so I won't be out here for very long. And I opened the door so I can get some breeze. But I'm still working on the asparagus beans. And I'm going to put some garden core in on the top. I told you it was warm. I'm going to get this core in here. So I, I kind of like that. That's kind of a nice feature of this camera is that it will turn off if it gets too hot. So let me move this down again. Yeah. And I'm just putting the garden core or the coconut core on top of all these. And I kind of like it because it holds the moisture in. But this is also in a container where the water will not seep out underneath, so it'll always absorb in these little pots. This is the first time I'm using them, which is the other reason why I don't want to plant all the seeds right now, because if this works out great, then I'll do another batch with it, or I'll save those for next year. They're brand new seeds, so they should be fine. But I love my soil. I love my compost soil far better than the bag soil. And the bag soil is fine. It's just I like it because um, I can take it and I can mold it. And it's um, it's it breaks down and stuff. Whereas the stuff from the bag, it comes out in bricks and then it just, it's different. That doesn't mean I can't make it more moist and stuff. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to water this. And one of the things, let me see if I have that here. This is something my husband did for me. We took, hold on, I'm going to move this. So I asked my husband to poke some holes in the cap of a vinegar bottle. I use vinegar for laundry. I use vinegar for a variety of things. I make vinegar too, but I always try to have about four gallons on hand. So this got emptied. And so we tried to pour it with just the holes in it. Didn't work. So we put a hole right in the handle and it pours a lot better. So I'm going to fill this up with some water from the water we collected from the rain and I will be right back. Okay, so now I have filled this up with water. The holes are in there and we got a hole in the handle. So I'm going to change the camera so you can see me watering it. It doesn't come out the same as some of the other watering, but this is how it comes out so you can see. And it, it's kind of a gentle, but it's it does great. And I'm very pleased with it. You can kind of kind of control it a little bit. Now anybody can make one of these. You can use a vinegar bottle. You can use any bottle that it's like a gallon. I wouldn't use the milk bottles because those are um, a different type of plastic. Whereas this one, 
is a little bit more solid. I buy my aloe vera in gallon bottles too from George's. And that's a nice, let's see if I can get this moved up again. There we go. So I have these all situated. I just got to make labels for this. And these will be going in the ground. So basically what I wanted to go on and say today is I'm in the garden, in the greenhouse today. It's hot. Of course it is. That's why we have it so that the sun comes in, provides warmth and light for our plants. So we got these asparagus beans planted. The next thing that I will be planting, this has become one of my most favorite vegetables. Now I love asparagus and the next one that I learned how to really cook and cook really well are Brussels sprouts. So and I take these and I cut them in half and I fry them. I put, take the ends off. I take the outer leaf out and I put those aside for the chickens and they love them. And then I fry these with real butter or um, bacon grease that I have put through a paper towel and stuff. And I fry them up and then what I do because Brussels sprouts have a little bit of a bitter taste, something I've never liked. And I decided, okay, we're going to put some honey in. Just a tablespoon. Both Dave and I love them. So that's what I do a lot now. So because I like them, and you just freeze them if you get too many, this will be the other item that I am going to plant today, along with some other herbs. So the takeaway is, yes, I'm using some cloth type. Um, and I've shared these before. These are just disposable pots. You just take them, I fold them under. If I need it to be up a little bit higher, you just start folding it back up. Sort of like tomato plants, you know how the roots, the little ligands that go on the stem, you can just keep having this grow until you're able to get it outside into the ground. And then I wanted to show you our compost. I just love our compost. Every year we get in, I'm just like, oh, this is just fabulous. And then I want to, okay, it keeps going out on me, so I'm going to end this really quick. So the final thing that I wanted to do was share with you the, the plastic bottle, the heavier set ones, not the milk jugs, because those are very fine. Drilled some holes in it, or take a nail and hammer the nails in. Put one or two holes there so the air allows the water to flow and you have a watering can. Those are, this is handy because these eventually don't work as well. And so I just wanted something that we can make without having to go to the store and buying something. So friends, I hope that you are doing well with the starts of your garden and that you are enjoying your beautiful day, but not having to endure the sounds of construction. So hopefully you're having a great day and may God bless you.